Hello everyone, welcome to today's Novage webinar, What's New in TurboCAD 2019? Would you like to know the history and positioning of TurboCAD within the other computer-aided design software? Discover what a smart solution for your 2D and 3D design TurboCAD really is. TurboCAD has also expanded its functionality to include support of 3D printing, point cloud data, and 3D surface mesh modeling. In this webinar, key enhancement to the new TurboCAD 2019 will be revealed, so stick around. Today's webinar presenter, Bob Mayer, is the co-founder of IMSI and founder of IMSI Designer and has been involved in software development and publishing since the early 1980s. Uh, let me tell you now a little bit about Novage and what we do. This is the Novage page where we feature TurboCAD and uh, Novage is changing the way designers purchase 3D software, offering more choices, more freedom, best advice, faster service, and most importantly, no headaches. Check us out at Novage.com. And for more information on daily software news, uh, pay a visit to the Novage blog or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you name it. Last but not least, today's webinar is free and will be recorded. So if you want to rewatch it, you can go to our Novage page on Vimeo and YouTube. And now let me share uh, Bob's screen so he can Feature. It can show you uh, TurboCAD 2019. Very excited about this new release. Take it away, Bob. Thank you. Hi, uh, and sorry for the slight delay. Um, I thought I'd start out by just giving you a very quick overview of who IMSI Design is. If uh, uh, you're not familiar with us, uh, we've been in CAD software development uh, since uh, really the early 1990s. Um, we started out with TurboCAD, and um, we've been developing and shipping CAD products for a long time. Um, you know, we, we um, we're in both mechanical and architectural design. We have lots of uh, you know big customers, but I think our forte has really been more along the lines of uh, value uh, soft. Value CAD software, uh, both for the PC and for the Macintosh, and you know we like to believe that we're one of the better known brands in uh, in uh, the world. Um, a quick update is to what we do. In, in addition to TurboCAD, which you may be you know most familiar with in terms of our brand, uh, we have a number of other CAD lines and also home design lines. Uh, including uh, design CAD and turbo floor plan for home design. But more recently, um, you know, we have a sister company um, that uh, has CAD lines called ViaCAD and SharpCAD, which you also may be familiar with. So all of those CAD products are all under this one umbrella now. All the development of them is done. And uh, so uh, in that sense, we're similar to other companies like Neman Check in that we have a number of different brands, a number of different titles. And I think you'll see some changes over the next year in terms of how we're going to be positioning all of these different titles. Uh, today, you know, we're, we're going to be talking about TurboCAD. And um, what I'm going to be trying to show you here is a little bit about um, our um, new TurboCAD 2019 product. Um, in terms of how we position TurboCAD, we've always tried to position it as a what I would call a middle of the road CAD product. And by middle of the road, what I mean, we don't uh, want to uh, shoehorn ourselves into either as being perceived as purely a mechanical design product, nor as a pure architectural design product. And so in that sense, uh, I think you can say that you are know, our biggest competitor in that sense is, in fact, Auto, AutoCAD, uh, because they're, that's a similar position. In the same way that Autodesk doesn't want to add too many um, uh, mechanical features and we compete with Inventor or Fusion 360, or on the architectural side, compete with Revit or architectural desktop, 
um, you know, we've tried to put ourselves in the middle. So what, how that manifests itself each year is that you will see uh, with new upgrades to the product that we will add um, functionality in, in a number of different areas, including uh, 3D modeling, uh, 2D and 3D architectural design, 2D drafting, uh, rendering and visualization and uh, interoperability. And it's those areas that we think, you know, that we're, we're very strong in and, uh, and it's enabled us to be a, a competitor to the bigger companies like Autodesk and, and, and products like AutoCAD. We also try and uh, uh, maintain a, a strong degree of compatibility with the AutoCAD platform in uh, both DWG compatibility, as well as being able to modify the user interface uh, to be very AutoCAD-like, um, both in terms of menu structures, heads-up cursor display, command line options, all of those things. So uh, where we try and um, position ourselves is um, if you are an AutoCAD user and you're looking to expand the number of seats, Turbocad is an easy value way of doing that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna just briefly go through some of the new enhancements uh, in Turbocad 2019. Uh, I'm using what, what's called our platinum product, which is our top of the line version, which uh, sells for about $1,500. And our products range from $1,500 all the way down to a 2D only product that sells for $60. And we offer this version here, Platinum, both as a permanent license as well as on an annual subscription basis. Okay, so uh, this first uh, feature that we're going to take a look at is uh, something called the uh, Select by Similar. And this allows you to pick objects with uh, similar property types and then select them in, uh, in a very automated sat way of doing it. So in this example, I'm gonna, I've, I've drawn up something here where I've got a line of objects that are all in layer one, layer two, layer three, and you can see they have different sort of properties associated with them. So I'm gonna select uh, this layer one, which has text, and uh, select by similar is in our edit menu. And I just go down here to select by similar. And you can see there's just a number of options that you can use to select by. And so I'm gonna choose layer in this case. And when I do that, uh, why is it not doing it? Select by. Turn that off. There we go. So it selects uh, everything here in layer one. And similarly, if I wanted to choose line type or pen style, I can just go here and uh, I go select by similar. I'm going to choose pen style. I'm going to turn layer off. And I did that. Similar. Pen style. What did I do wrong? There we go. And it does the same thing. Uh, another thing, another way I can uh, use this tool um, is um, I can uh, let's see. I can actually select um, entities that are nested inside of groups or blocks, and so. Um, Similar example, I can choose this um, hexagon. This happens to be in these objects here are a group and these are blocks. And using the same tool, um, I can go here and I can choose lookup in groups or blocks as an as an option. And why well, it's taking me two times to do this, but. And let's see, type. That's what I've got to select. No, it's not working for me. I apologize. 
save. Oh, no. I'm not sure why that's not happening, but it should be highlighting everything in the groups and blocks as well. Okay. Um, a, another 2D drafting tool that we've added is something called um, Construct Similar. And Construct Similar is something that is analogous to a format painter tool. We, we have a format painter tool in TurboCAD, but it's something that we've kind of greatly expanded the, uh, the capabilities of in terms of the types of properties that can be automatically painted. And what it does, it, it works uh, with a, an active um, object that you have, uh, so uh, a drawing object. So if I choose my select similar and, I, then, um, and I've chosen the rectangle tool over here. Now, if I, if I like in a format painter tool, I just hover over this. What it's going to do is going to pick up the properties of this object, the line thickness, the line color, the fill color. And um, so when I draw, you can see that my rectangle uh, uh, assumes those properties. So it's similarly, if I, uh, oops, actually I didn't do that one right. And so again, if I, I, I chose a circle, I choose my select, construct similar, I highlight that and it assumes those, those attributes. Um, you can also use this tool for um, dimensions, for example, dimension types, including the arrow, the, the formatting, all of these different variables here. So uh, for example, I've, let's choose the parallel dimension tool here. And <clears throat> again, I would, uh, I just I, I go up here to choose construct similar. I hover over the dimension type. And then mm -hmm. when we put the dimension, you can see it's got the, the round fill at one end, the arrow at the other. Similarly, if I choose this dimension type, you'll see that it, it, it takes on those, uh, those attributes. And there's probably over uh, two dozen different properties that can be painted in this fashion. So this is a very handy tool uh, in, in terms of uh, speeding up 2D drafting when you're using TurboCAD. Um, I'll quickly move on to a couple of the, the 3D uh, enhancements, uh, one of which is called three-phase three blend. And um, these are options that have been added uh, inside our uh, 3D filleting edges uh, tool. And the, the nice thing about these, um, these things is that these are great for uh, woodworking as well as uh, even mechanical design. So if we pretend here uh, we have like a block of wood, I'm going to select this object and I choose the, um, in the three face, three face. Then I, I choose the top, and then I let's see, rotate. Yeah. And choose the bottom. And then I'm going to choose. The other faces, the center face. Come on. There we go. And there. And then if we um, zoom in, you can see this is rounded. I'm going to render this in a little bit uh, to show you. Um, so show you this in a little bit uh, better state. Um, similarly, we could we can use uh, these three face uh, blends to for a mechanical part if we wanted to put a, a lip, for example, on this object here. Um, if we uh, to escape, select this object, choose the outside face. Right here. And 
to the side, please. There we go. And then uh, the right face. So I think I might have done that one incorrectly. So I'm going to escape out of there. Uh, let's just render that uh, first one. And scroll up. You can see that in this, this case of this first object, it's it's placed a, a what's called a continuous round blend on it, which uh, is something that you can you can use in, in the world of uh, woodworking. Um, let's get out of here and go back to our frame mode, and we're gonna. Last, I wanted to show you uh, some enhancements we've made with respect to 3D printing. So uh, we've long supported three, uh, uh, 3D printing, and we've tried to now, uh, with our STL file, uh, add some print checking and integrity fixing to our uh, STL output is, is additive manufacturing has gotten more and more popular. Uh, we want to make sure that in terms of being able to uh, send models to a 3D printer, that the quality of these STL models are top notch and that you're, you're there, they are going to be watertight. So I've, I've got a, a TurboCAD uh, model here. And um, what we, we're going to do is when we save that model now, uh, as a an STL file, pop up in a second. I'm going about as well some While we wait for the file, I want to remind everyone that if you have questions, you can type them in in our question tab and they will be addressed at the end. So don't be shy. the STL model, length, the width, the volume, uh, information that you may need in terms of the, the platform that you're doing the printing on. But, um, but then it gives us uh, information about any issues found. So this found three open edges. So um, uh, it will then uh, correct those when we, uh, if we, if we want to go here again and, and say save as, Go back to setup, and this time we're going to ask it to remove any holes, and it should uh, fix those holes. So anyway, um, this is this is something in our you know commitment. Um, yeah, and you can see now that the the, the free edge message has char changed to say part appears to be a closed watertight body. That's because it's gone through this fixing. So. Um, um, you know, we're, we're committed to trying to be a sort of a, a, a low cost uh, leader in terms of a, a CAD product that you can use in uh, the 3D printing world. Uh, so those, those are some of the, uh, I, I like to say, key elements there's, uh, that we've added to 2019. There's definitely some enhancements to uh, architectural design, particularly in the world of building information modeling, uh, where we've expanded uh, the number of uh, object types that we're uh, supporting with uh, IFC and industry foundation class. We have a BIM palette for accurately mapping these in, inside the model. 
And uh, there's just uh, a number of other interoperability enhancements, including the latest uh, compatibility with DWG and DXF files. And then we've added uh, um, some support uh, for FBX format for use in 3D animation. So when you, when you take a look at TurboCAD, uh, which I encourage you to do, there's a, a, free, uh, a free trial that's available on the TurboCAD.com site. The only uh, thing that's been uh, changed in the trial is that the uh, printing is watermarked, but all the functionality is there. What you'll find is a product that includes a number of very powerful 3D modeling uh, features on, at the platinum level, both solid and surface modeling, and at the lesser expensive uh, models, just 3D surface modeling. And then a number of uh, intelligent architectural objects that allows you to, to design, um, you know, single family residences uh, in a very straightforward and easy fashion. In fact, we actually support AutoCAD desktop architecture file format and recognize things like walls, doors, windows, roofs, um, scaling stairs and, and railings. And, um, you know, that's really the uh, sort of the positioning of, of TurboCAD. Um, Noved is carrying our, our products and it has been for a while. And I'm sure you can talk to them about uh, pricing and all. Does anybody have any questions? Yeah, there's none so far, but we, we can wait a few minutes. In the meantime, if you don't mind, I will take my, the screen back. Sure. So everybody, first of all, thank everybody for attending today and show the product page at novedge.com where you can find, find TurboCAD. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, we're here. Um, thank you, Bob, for uh, the demo. That was great. It was, you know, this is a very smart product. It's good to have alternatives. You don't have to be like everybody else. You can configure your own workflow and mix and match. And uh, we think TurboCAD is a very, very smart solution that might appeal to many of you. Um, no questions. So I uh, urge everybody to download the trial. Visit us at novage.com. Novage is changing the way designers purchase 3D software, offering more choices, more freedom, best advice, faster service, and no headache whatsoever. To rewatch today's webinar, you can go uh, to our YouTube or Vimeo channel. Just search for Novage. Thanks again, Bob, and have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye, everybody. Thank you.